Brian Thomas Jr. is my fifth ranked receiver and 21st ranked player in the 2024 draft class. I have him and A.D. Mitchell right next to each other with pretty much identical grades. He has game breaking potential, just unlimited upside, but a lot of his skill set is unrefined at this point, and he is one of the more boom bust players in this receiver class. A few years ago, I was in school studying engineering and I just wasn't excited about doing that every day for the rest of my life. And I decided to start this YouTube channel and make the jump to covering sports full time. And it was one of the best decisions I've ever made. And today's video is sponsored by Southern New Hampshire University's online sports management program, which lets you turn your passion for sports into a degree. Their programs are led by faculty with real world experience in sports, giving you the unique chance to learn from professionals and graduates all while building connections in the industry. So if you're wanting to get your foot in the door in the sports world, go to snhu.edu slash A to Z sports, also linked in the description to see if you qualify for SNHU's sports management program. He's six foot four with long arms and he's got field stretching track speed, just the dream athletic profile for a deep threat. He can get behind the defense instantly and he's got the catch radius to high point the ball deep down the field. He led college football with 17 touchdowns last year, but he wasn't very productive until 2023. His first two seasons, he didn't go over 400 yards. On top of his speed and acceleration, he's very effective beating press coverage. He's got a diverse release package. He's explosive with his short area movements, and he covers so much ground with every step. He's able to explode out of his release and immediately gain two yards of horizontal leverage. And then because he has this elite acceleration, he's able to slow play his release and then quickly get to top speed. Most corners aren't able to flip their hips and keep up with him down the field. He does a good job of hand fighting down the field on deep routes. He has the play strength to power through physical coverage and he wipes down the cornerback's hands and gets them out of phase. He has good ball skills in terms of his focus at the catch point. He doesn't lose track of the ball. He's able to run underneath deep targets. He got a lot of production on slot fades, especially in the red zone. That's where you really saw the ball tracking skills and footwork. He was consistently getting two feet in bounds. And then he was also efficient on contested catches. He's able to high point the ball, box out defenders, use his size to his advantage. But he had five drops this year. 6.8% drop rate isn't terrible, but you'd like him to be more consistent bringing in those easy catches. So I'm confident that he can be an effective deep threat in the NFL. What he can do outside of that is where I have questions. He's not a very crisp route runner, clunky movements in and out of breaks. I'm not sure he has the change of direction skills at six foot four to separate consistently on in breaking routes. He did flash the ability to sink his hips on curls and comebacks, which is really important for a deep threat, but there were several examples where he lost balance and slipped out of his break. Again, being that tall is helpful for winning at the catch point, but it's kind of a hindrance as far as change of direction skills. I thought he was very inconsistent on timing routes and where to sit down in zone coverage. There were a lot of miscommunications between him and Jaden Daniels, where Daniels is expecting him to be two yards over, and then he has the speed to outrun the entire defense after the catch. If you give him open space, he's as good at converting that into yardage as probably anyone besides Malik neighbors in this class, but he doesn't really have the quickness and anticipation to consistently make the first defender miss. You especially see this on hitch routes where he's got his back to the defense and there's a defender crashing behind him. He had a very low success rate of spinning out of that first tackle attempt. When he is able to avoid it, like I said, he can take it to the house as often as anyone, but he needs to get better at identifying those tackling angles and accelerating horizontally. And then he flashes a run blocker. When he's fully engaged, just his size and length alone, he can take defenders out of the play. He kind of has a hard time getting low as a run blocker, so sometimes defenders are able to slip underneath him. But especially on screens where you're just walling a guy off to the sideline, he was very effective. So if you're looking for an explosive deep threat, I think Brian Thomas Jr. can fill that role. As far as being a route running technician that's just going to dice people up in the intermediate game, I think there are some athletic limitations there and definitely some technical development that needs to happen. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy the video, make sure to like and subscribe. Also, let me know in the comments any NFL draft prospects that you'd like me to cover. And if you want to see my full draft board as an interactive filterable table, I've got that up at a to zsports.com. The link to that is in the description.